I do not like this. It's real quiet. I don't like this at all. Oh god! Ah, you mother! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fears to Fathom. Ironbark, look out! This is episode four of uh, apparently five. It looks like there's going to be a fifth one coming soon. My name is John, and uh, let's just step right into this. Shall we? Pick a save game. New game? I don't have any save games. I just jump right in blind, man. That's how I do it. That's how I roll. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears of Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. This is like Firewatch then. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. Official circumstances, nice. It was a minor inconvenience for me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Is this another driving simulator? Oh, it is. It is another driving simulator. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's got some power, eh? Okay. Can I turn the... Okay, good. Dude, oh, these guys really have to stop texting and driving. Like, do you want me to drive or do you want me to look at my text messages? Okay, let's see. Let's see these freaking messages, shall we? Congratulations, whatever. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from now you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Wish I had sometimes like a job like you, waking up with nature, wish my job was really that easy, K. Okay. I'm honestly done with this job, pretty sure joining your next session, hee <laughs> hee. Like I said, you're always welcome. Speaking of change, oh dang, I got a new ID. Iron Bark Fire Department. Iron Bark? They are staffing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With that, I'll call you back. Uh, okay, whatever. Today. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today, out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Roseburg. What happened at Roseburg? I wonder. Well, this is pretty. This is nice and pretty. I've always loved the great outdoors. Me too, buddy. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was back home in the woods. Yeah. Oh, this is super dangerous. Super dangerous. Oh, God. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Smiley face. How are these cables turning? Like, how uh, how are they turning like that? That's not how physics works. Come on. Come on now. Alright, where's this burger joint? I just lagged. I just lagged like crazy. Alright, well, this is Roseburg. Do I need to stop for gas? Oh, I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. I guess this is it. All right, I got an RV. I could park here, right? Yeah, perfect. Best spot in the house, right? Whoa, 
Oh, because it's an RV. That makes sense. You guys don't mind that I park here, right? Right, sir? Am I uh, interrupting your lovely meatball sub that you got there? Who's this guy? Who's this joker? Let's go say hi to this guy. Sounds like you're really enjoying that burger there, bud. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven, this place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. Thanks, buddy. You enjoy that burger. Gross. Oh yeah, I forgot that I can sprint if I strafe like this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? I'm good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Uh, can we shut this up? Thanks. Oh, no, I don't want that either. No. No. Okay, well, I don't want to sit there because that's too obvious, right? I'm gonna sit back here. Eh, I'll sit right here so I can keep an eye on the door. All right, lady, what do you got? Hi, Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Uh, oh, it is a meatball sub. You know what? Yeah, I got a meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Would you like anything to drink? Mmm, large coke coffee strawberry slush perfect anything else uh anything else uh, well i guess i can't have anything else that will be all thank you great i'll bring the food out as soon as it's done just let me know if you need anything else sounds good barbara i've always had this habit of peeing before eating that's weird okay i guess i gotta go pee oh man why does it like Oh, I was trying to lift the seat, not piss on it. <laughs> oh, man. I spilled. That's okay. Someone will clean it up, right? That's gross. Don't do this. Okay. Uh, can I can I clean it up? I was done with it. There we go. I got a flush. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay. All right. Well, you spilled, so can I use this? No. Oh, yeah, at least I can use the sink this time. That's good. He's, uh, he's a lot cleaner than um, Noah. Noah was just a slob, man. All right, I'm good. I'm all good. Let's go. Hey, Barbara, I've been sitting here for like two minutes. What the hell's going on here? That better be my food. Looks like it. It looks like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, is that mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise? Oh, yeah. Consuming. I just take the whole bunch of nuggets and just shove them all in my mouth, eh? Yeah. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. I didn't even use any of the dips. That looks like a good meatball sub, actually. Not bad. Uh, I'm consuming here, Kayla. You can relax, all right? Jeez. Oh, yeah. All right, Kayla, what the hell do you want? So did you end up going? How was it? Oh, God. I was on the phone, Barbara. Can't you see? Oh, there goes your tip, I guess. All right? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get you the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Thanks, Barbara. God. I'm still eating. This is good. Told you, hee hee. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Oh my god, Barbara. Barbara. You think I'm gonna give you a tip after you freaking interrupted me twice? 50% tip? Are you insane? No. You're getting $7.60. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Jesus. How rude. Wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Send you in a bit? Send you in a bit? What are you talking about? Uh, okay, I guess I got up. That's cool. 
Um, right, 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 right. Please take a seat, I'll be right with you. Why? Isn't it pretty quiet in here? Yeah, it's been like that for a while now. Ever since the highway bypassed this town, things have been pretty slow. That's a shame, it seems like a nice place. It used to be, but times change, I suppose. All right. Well, that's cool. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Ironbark State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day? Why am I doing this accent? Uh, possibly. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, buddy. But okay. That's a nice coffee you got there, buddy. You look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Start my new job at a nearby state park. Wow, that's great. I didn't know those jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a fan financial analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. I don't think I can handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, that's for sure. But I find it very fulfilling. Oh, I bet you do, buddy. What's, uh, what's your deal? Your eyes closed? Please leave me alone. 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 Is that all you say? Something gonna happen? Okay, fine. I'll leave you alone. Okay. Uh, I guess that's all I can do in here. Uh, let's just uh, say hi to this guy. Uh, okay, fine. Rude. Did anybody break into my RV while I was in there? Anybody? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Ha 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 ha, was it? How convenient. Why did I pick this up? Why did I pick that up? Oh man, I'm lagging like crazy. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, well I can't really see behind me. The mirrors don't work. Oh, I hit something, but I'm good. I'm all good. I'm just on my way, right? I should have taken it easy. Eight oh two PM. What was that noise? I keep hearing stuff. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I have seen in these woods. That makes sense. Is this it? I'm gonna assume it's. I'm gonna assume it's straight down. Oh. Oh no. Well, that was wrong. I drove past the trail at first. Okay. Okay. Now, am I in a good spot? Am I gonna, gonna, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Do I need to bring my bag with me? Mm, let's do it just in case. Just in case. This game is a little dark. It is very dark. Very, very dark. Oh, there's a lot of flies there, buddy. Uh, okay. Oh, God! Oh, my God! You're a dick, eh? Oh, I did not expect that at all. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of them? One of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Oh, there's a guy right there. Who is that? What is this guy doing? Hang on, let me check on that. He really fucked with me, bud. He really did. He really did. Oh, so? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. 
Take keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Thanks, buddy. He really did just scare the shit out of me, man. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to the lookout. Thought I might need one. You be careful. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Well, this... Yes. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Oh, this flashlight is shut. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Yep. Hello? There's someone down there, definitely. Only horses. Only hor- oh, So I can't- I don't have a horse. I don't have a horse. 11.32 p.m. It was a long hike, and it was something, something, something. Sorry, I was looking at my text messages. Tower 11. Cool. Okay. This is a nice, uh, nice little trail, actually. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I can't go off the path. I guess that's my tower, right? Tower 11. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I can imagine. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Ooh, utility shack. What's in the utility shack? Utilities? Oh, yes. Ah, utilities. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Utilities. Oh, I can't turn the lights on. My hands were full. Oh, right. My hands were full. Is that another flashlight? Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, alright. Well, let's go to the tower. The tower. Nice. Ah, oh, nice. That's cool. Ah, oh, sweet. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Oh, this is nice. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Months? You're here for months? Jeez. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. 12 p.m.? Lights out after 12 p.m.? I can't be right. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Okay, that's good to know. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I gotta do my weather report, right? Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Okay. Um... Okay, this looks ancient. Rainbow 98. Wow. Rainbow 98. Iron Bark 11. Take your time. Take your time, buddy. 
Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Ah, employee training. MP4. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Thanks. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. Hmm, thank you. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I'll try. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. Mm -hmm. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. That's cool. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make Makes sure to sense. know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. <laughs> Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Yeah, right? Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Mm -hmm. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Alrighty. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. Wow. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. Mm -hmm. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Will do. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Mm-hmm. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Well, okay then. We'll do. Oh, I got an achievement. Flash drive media. Do I want to do this? And Cats. we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. Mm. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Mm-hmm. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <gasps> Sir. Wow. Sir, there's no need for that language. Rude. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh Okay, Ron Ross. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm I had Ron a feeling. Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. Testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, oh, yeah. A little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's mm -hmm. my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah. Is the basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think mm -hmm. I'll put a little tree here. Oh, this nice. is where I buried the bodies. Ah. You know what would look good here? A nice happy cabin right there. 
reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Oh. Let's read some fan mail. Sure. Sent in by you guys. Mm -hmm. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Cats! Oh. That's enough of that. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. This is Ironbark State Park Trail Mark. What did I just say? This is the Ironbark State Park Trail Map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. Closed. Okay. Old radio tower. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is where I am. Tower 12 is over there. Okay, cool. That's cool. Um, service reporting. Okay, let's report some services. Um, welcome to this. Hello? New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Wow, there's a voiceover. Who's this? Connor, Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. I thought I was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Uh, thank you, I suppose? So what is it? Your name? Your name? Oh, it's Jack. Jack Anyways, Nelson. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh, just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. Got a fire going? Get nope. lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Uh, okay. Then let's light a fire. How do I do that? How do I light? How do I light a fire? That's a fire extinguisher, right? What is that? Oh no, it might be bear spray. Oh, it is bear spray. Yeah. Um, okay. Get a fire lit. Where the fuck? Where the fuck am I supposed to put a fire? Is this? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Hey, Connor. Just. The wood stove should be around the entrance. You just. Hold your horses, okay? Just relax. Oh, my hands were full. Um, put my bag down. Uh, left mouse button to use. I need wood. I need wood. Where's the wood? There's no wood in there, dude. What the fuck am I lighting on fire? Do you see the smoke? You see the smoke there, Connor? You see the smoke from the one match that I lit on fire? Where's my wood? I don't know where my wood is. Okay, what do you want? There's no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Staffer who was in the lookout before you. Ah. She was one gritty woman. Anyway, let's get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay, let's go to that storage shack, shall we? Let's, let's put the... Uh, there you go. Perfect. Let's maybe close that door, just in case somebody, uh, you know, breaks in. Because people love to do that in these games. They love to do it. Okay. 
place it in the stove. Now let me get my machas. Light that shit on fire, bud. Yeah? Yeah? No? Do I need... Do I need to put gasoline? Who puts gasoline on a fire? That's not a good idea. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Now let's light that bitch on fire. If you guys can hear that, it's Saturday night, and my upstairs neighbors are having a party. So... Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Thanks, buddy. So, I may hear stuff that I may think is happening in the game, but it's not, because these guys are super loud. And they didn't invite me. They didn't invite me to the party. Yeah, I know, right? No, I did not. Because I don't know how to do it. Okay, what's 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 the deal? Here? No, let me get to it. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Well, okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. I do not. I don't know who Mitch is. So, how about that? Uh, temperature in Fahrenheit. Uh, I don't know, 60 maybe. Sure. Uh, wind speed. Two. Uh, weather condition: cloud, mist, clear wind, rain, heat wave, blur, dust storm. No, oh, it's a dust storm. Uh, zero reported by me. Submit. Something didn't look right. What? What didn't look right? Okay, let me read this. Welcome to the state-of-the-art service reporting software developed by the Ironbark HQ. Measure weather conditions with the provided equipment and log accurate data to be sent to the HQ for evaluation. Okay, well, I need provided equipment, I suppose. Where is... Oh, yeah, that's right. I need this garbage. Okay. Uh, right mouse button to use. 20 knots. Yeah, but I'm high up, right? I guess that doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, 20 knots. 20 knots. Uh, temperature. Is that a... Is this a compass or is this a... Yeah, that's a compass. Um, where is my thermometer? Thermometer. Uh, thermometer. The thermometer. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, there it is. It is 50? 50 degrees? Okay, let's say 50. That was close. That was very close. Uh, 20. Dust storm? Something didn't look right. Jack, I guess. Something didn't look right. Uh, maybe the weather condition is off. <sighs> Do I use my binoculars? Well, that looks fine to me, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any... Oh god, I forgot there was stairs there. Oh, I thought I fell through the floor. <laughs> oh man. Cool. Uh, looks clear. Looks clear to me. I will say clear. Clear. Something didn't look right. What? Jack Nelson. Something didn't look right. Um, wind speed is 20. Temperature. I don't get what I'm supposed to do. 46.2. 46. 46.2. You fucker. Jesus Christ. Copy, man. Guy? Right here. Sign off for the day. Cool beans. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Thanks, buddy. You too. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Uh, so that's 
done. So now I can GTFO, right? Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's go to bed, shall we? 3.26 a.m. Unintelligible. Uh-oh. What's going on? I had to pee. Yeah, I mean, dude. Priorities, bud. Come on. Connor? Uh, I had to pee all oh, the washrooms downstairs, isn't it? Anybody out to get me? Nope. Uh, where is my flashlight? Oh, don't tell me it got rid of my flashlight again. Okay, good. On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Yeah, makes sense, buddy. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Is it my washroom downstairs? Am I wrong? Is there a washroom inside? Is there a toilet in here? I don't know, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Do I, do I, do I, do I pee in the sink? No. Okay, well I gotta pee, man. So, let's go pee. What? <laughs> well, okay. All right, I guess that's one way to do it. There you go, nice. Is that a guy? Is that a guy down there? Am I... Am I seeing something? Is that somebody? It is. There's my binoculars. Let's check this guy out, shall we? Who are you, sir? You are very suspicious. It's 4 a.m. What are you doing out here? Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, let's go back to sleep. Fuck it. What's the worst that can happen, honestly? Night two. Do wow. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. It sure does, man. This is actually really pretty. You got the birds out here. You got uh, tower number 12 down there. Left mouse button to take a photo. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get the, uh, yeah, there we go. That's perfect. That's a perfect picture there, buddy. Nice, 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 nice. Left mouse button to take a photo. Let's take a photo of this guy's tower, shall we? Yeah, that's a nice one. Ooh, yeah. Perfect. Beautiful, buddy. Space to get off. Oh, man. Well, I guess that's a benefit of having no one around you, right? You can get off whenever you want. What, what was I on? Was I on a chair or something? Like, what was, what was going on there? Okay. Oh. Hey, guy. You copy? Jeez. Connor. You this really... is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? I know it's you, bud. All right, let me just put this down. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy Son that. Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Smoke north of my position. Let me take a look, bud. Uh, let's get... Come on, your hands are full? It's a fucking compass, bud. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, yeah, I see it. The smoke was white. Indicative of a campfire. That's really hard to zoom in. I don't see where it's coming from, though. I sure do. Spot that white smoke up to yeah, I see it. The lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Well, I'm not 
people like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. They sure don't. Fire risks are high this season. Mm-hmm. Mind checking it out? Yes, do you have any other details? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lacey Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Alrighty. Safe out there. Sounds good. Don't forget good. to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Uh -huh. Over and out. Over and out. Do I have a radio? Like, is there, is there, a, is there a radio? I should probably take this too, just in. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Do I have a clock? Is there a clock around here? Oh, the computer has a clock on it. Seven forty-two. Okay, so it's it's br a brand new day. Where's my bear spray? There it is. Okay. Oof. Okay, let's do it. Let us do it. Lacy Trail. Okay, so I'm going to go see where that um, that guy went, right? Lacy Trail. Okay, where that guy went at 4 o'clock in the morning. 8.37 p.m. What? How long have I been walking? I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Dude, come on. I should have took... It was 7.30 in the morning. It took me 13 hours to walk to where that smoke was. That doesn't seem right, honestly. No camping. Violators will be sighted and moved. Ooh, that's uh Oh, Jen. I love Jen. She gives the best head. Nice. Um. Okay, what do these signs mean? Interesting. Okay. That's freaky. Freaky deaky indeed. Wow. Is that static? Or is that footsteps? What's going on? Oh, it's a radio. Ooh, a machete. Can I take it? These are the pictures I took. That's cool. Uh, okay, so that's the... Oh, that's cool. Oh, can I make this? Oh, can I make that? I hope so. I'm going to try that when I get back. You will not believe how easy this one is to get together. Did you reach your SM picks when you do? Track or whatever. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. If you're from a town, thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. I definitely will try it tonight. I will try it tonight, girl. If I spray this, will it, like, explode? I had to put it out. My hands were full. Had to get water to put it out. That makes sense. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I? I want to take this. I want to take the machete or the axe. That would work too. Do I? Oh, look at my can of bear spray up there. Do I want to figure this out? Who it is down here? Who's there? Show yourself. Mm -hmm. The area beyond that site was closed. But there's definitely someone down there. There's definitely someone down there. 
Okay, I guess I go back. Where is everybody? That's what I want to know. Okay, well, I guess I go back, right? Don't make me bear spray you. Oh, there's definitely somebody there. 9.07 p.m. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. So it took me... Hmm. Oh, unless that was 7.30 p.m. It just said 7.30 on my computer. So I guess it was 7.30 p.m. It took me an hour to get down there. I guess that makes more sense, right? Is there a light? Oh, that's cool. There's a light inside this thing. That's pretty neat. Uh, will I need more firewood? You think? That guy's still out here freaking whistling. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this at all. No siri. No siri. Okay. Okay, well, uh, I mean... Let's go report what I found, shall we? close all these, because fuck that, right? Or oh, that one. There we are. I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Well, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you well, copy? Clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Uh, talk Are about you campsite. Me? No, I am not. Son of a bitch. I know, right? They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Hmm. Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Scream. Mm -hmm. I've been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Yeah, it was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that about area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Okay. What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Interesting. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. What? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. Urgently. That's unsettling. Okay. Absolutely anyway, not. Thanks for staying vigilant. Oh, well, for sure, buddy. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. I agree. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, well, that was fun. But at least I got... Jeez. Two flashlights now. Okay, how do I cook things? Oh, five text messages from Kayla. Uh oh, 
All right, what is she saying? I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Wow, lasagna. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom, hee hee. Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Is this the same recipe? Okay, uh, all right. Um, okay, uh, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomato. Here's all the ingredients in casserole. Bake it 420 degrees. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Enjoy X. A, D, and D. Nice. That's funny. Uh, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Uncooked pasta. Uncooked pasta. Do I put it in a bowl? 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 In the microwave? In the microwave? Uh, casserole. I gotta put it in there. At this point, I was starving. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to make you food. Okay, cool. Um, marinara sauce, which I guess is in here. Yeah, marinara sauce. Boom. Pepperon. The pepperons. Uh, is this pepperoni? Yes, it is. Pepperoni goes in there. Mozzarella cheese and diced tomatoes. Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. That's sliced ham. I don't need sliced ham. Mozzarella cheese. Okay. Does this have diced tomatoes in it? No. Diced tomatoes. There we go. Boom. And then cook that shit. Oh, yeah. Cook it in 420, bud. Uh, 35 minutes. I don't have a clock, so... Who knows? Let's do my reporting while this is cooking. I really don't like this. Yeah, yeah relax. Okay? I'm coming. I'm a coming. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. What did they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. I agree. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I choose. I don't see your name Chose. Did Chose. You said Chose. Yet? Yeah, right. Um, I was just getting to it. You got it. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thanks, buddy. Over twelve, signing off. Over and out. Good night. Good night, Connor. All right. It is nineteen knots. Cool. Nineteen knots. Nineteen knots. Forty-eight point seven. Uh, 48.7 and 19 knots. Uh, I didn't see what it looked like out there. It seemed clear to me. Um, assisted zero, really. Uh, Jack Nelson? I wasn't sure if I had to put the right weather condition. Cloud. Yeah, it was cloudy. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. I just remember the smell of the fresh, sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. That's weird, buddy. I don't want to sleep. I want to eat. Ah. Something's going to happen, right? Something always happens when I'm eating. No matter what in these games. Is somebody going to walk by my window or something? Is the power going to go off or something? Come on. Nothing? No? Nothing? I was already full. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to eat that whole dang thing? Nice. Um, keep it in the oven? I could have kept it in the refrigerator. Yeah, you could have, but, um... Okay, fine. Let's keep it in the refrigerator. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, how do I turn my lights off? Ah, oh, like that. Okay, cool. That's it, right? Yeah, I'm done. It was getting cold. Thought I'd get a wood stove lit. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Um, 
Where are my machas? Matches? Matches? Oh, matches. Matches? No, those are cigarettes. Cigarette? Oh, matches are on top. Oh, I don't have any more wood? Oh, no. I gotta go down and get some wood. Oh, no. I don't like this. Okay, well, let's get my bear spray and my flashlight. Let's close that door, though. Oh, no. Whistling man's down here, isn't he? Is there anybody here? He is still out here, eh? Oh yeah, I can't carry both things, can I? as much as you want okay just don't come bugging me all right well I need to put some gas on the fire don't I oh yeah there we go oh, yeah that's enough oh yeah it's more than enough oh yeah boom Cool, good enough. Um, turn the lights off. Let's turn the lights off and let's. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. They're, they're all closed. They're all closed, man. Oh. That one was not. Is that the only one? Yes, it is. Uh oh, I slept with my flashlight. Does that mean I lost it? 2.27 a.m. I was woken up by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What the hell is that? Space to get up. What the fuck? There was something very strange about that night. Okay. Is that a thing? Uh, that... Yeah, let's just sleep. I felt as if I was being watched. No, you probably, you probably are. Um, so what do I do? What do I do? Would you like some casserole, sir? Outside. Let's just go to sleep. I felt a presence outside. Mm-hmm. And what do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go outside. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I want. I felt as if I was being watched. Okay. Well, let's go. Uh... Okay. All right, well, that's fun. What is this? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Okay, let's contact Connor. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? Yeah, it's like, hey, you didn't say that. Do you have any idea what time is it? Yeah, it's like 2.30 or something. There's something outside my door. Mention the storm. Marley 
what if this is not a prank? This feels like... This feels like a some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, you guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Who? What do you mean? For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. Okay. Well. It'll be morning before you know it. Yeah, I guess so. Connor didn't make any sense. What do you mean Connor didn't make any sense? But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, let's go to sleep, buddy. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower, or by scanning the densities of trees all around me. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Use some dirty binoculars, man. Okay, well I can't really see anything through these things. Oh, hold left mouse button to clean. Wow. How are you gonna clean them while they're on your face? Honestly. Okay, hold on. Let's look at something while I clean them, yeah? Oh. Whoa. Okay. Somebody let off a flare. That's fun. Space to go back. I guess I should report it. Shouldn't I? Hello? Jeez. Is anyone there? Oh, this is interesting. I need help! Please, someone answer. Okay. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Okay. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Huh. I think... I think I'm lost. Um... What equipment do you have? I have a you? flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Okay, what is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. This I is true. Shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. I All I did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Uh, do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing? Right I'm walking now? towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank okay. goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Okay. Let me scan the map and get back to you. Okay, so where the fuck did he say he was? Why is the music like this right now? Okay, he's over there, which is which direction? Uh, uh, that. Hello? Yeah, I said I'll get back to you, buddy. Are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. I, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Yeah, I'm trying to help, okay? Okay, so north is that way. That is west. So he's west of me right now. My paranoia urged me to close the door before sitting down. That's a good point. That is a good point. Okay, so he is... Yes, I know. Uh, so he's over here. He's got to go left. The trailhead. He's got to go left. Right? I'm at a trail intersection. Left. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. Yeah, of course, man. I couldn't have 
trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Hope you reach out. Making making decisions in the dark can be real challenging. I'm right here. I hear you. I hear you. I hear your whistles. Uh. I'm in my tower right what? now. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Thank you. No, thank you. Nope. Nope. Oh, is this the guy that Connor sent? Maybe? Maybe it is. <sighs> Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. Hours? I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting the lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Well, let's see how long you last, buddy. Yeah, gonna pass out? Yeah? You think so? I think you'll be just fine. I think you'll be just fine, alright? Alright, let's take one. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Mention the skull. Should I mention the skull? Maybe he's in on it. You think he's in on it? Just getting used to... Just get... Just get getting used to the new environment. That's the spirit. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna mention the skull anyways. Did you notice anything unusual on your hike up north yesterday? Mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, I didn't think about that. No, I didn't think about it. Did you take a photo of it, he said. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Dick. Yeah, you better get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here, okay? I'll make sure. I was too hungry. Oh, I can't go down there. Alright, okay, alright, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's put these supplies right here. Perfect. Well, let's heat up that casserole, shall we? Let's pop it in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll drink this, too. Is this, um... What was that cola called? Uh, I can't remember. Raz Cola or something like that? I don't know. Something like that. Man. This guy loves 420. I like eating in bed. Yeah, I know. Anybody walking around outside? No? Nobody walking around outside? No? Okay. Okay. Alright, well that was delicious. Let's just toss that right there. Perfect. Uh, okay, um, I guess I have to report some shite, right?
It is, wow, that's windy. 25 knots. 25 knots, okay. Remember that. Remember that, guys. 25 knots. Um, what's the temperature? 25 knots, 54.8. Well, I gotta get some wood, right? Twenty-five knots, fifty-four point eight. Uh, Twenty-five, uh, fifty-four, fifty-four point eight. Uh, windy, I guess. One hiker assisted. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now let's get some wood, shall we? Bitches around trying to scare me. Is it just me or did it get real quiet? It got real quiet, didn't it? It got real quiet. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I do not like this. It's real quiet. I don't like this at all. Oh god! Oh, you mother! God. Why do I play these games? Why do I do it? Why? Why? <laughs> why, do I, why do I do it? You just gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. I can understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Uh, why do like? Oh God. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. <sighs> okay. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. It's getting late. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Hey, everybody, take it easy. Oh, nice. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. He sure freaking did, didn't he? Oh, man. What a dick. should have known that something would have happened as soon as it got quiet. I should have known. I should have freaking known, man. Oh yeah, that's right. I still need uh, this guy. Just put it on top of it. Fuck it. Do I need to do this? I don't even know if I need to do that. Honestly. Uh, okay. Well, I don't I hear smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? Of course. Of course I'm there. That's what I've been doing. You copy now. A loud and clear. Finally. Ran into Silas downstairs. The nearby radio tower worker. about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Excuse me? It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. 
costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Mm -hmm. No time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name. You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Well, okay then. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. They're super loud upstairs. I know you can hear these bangs because I can hear them in my in my headphones, and it's not making this any better. It's not making this any better at all. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night. Me too. Tower twelve. Signing off. Good night. Over, Over and out. I cut him off there. Oh no, I cut him off. How could? How could I? Okay, well, uh, I reported already. That's good. I can turn this light off and go to sleep. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later... 9.18 p.m. Ooh, it's raining. You guy, you got a minute? Sure. Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Oh, ah, okay. They wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Sounds no cool. More snoopers, I guess. Uh, what is it well, about? They say they've optimized the reporting software. Improved the communication system. And some much needed Alright. You ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Okay. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Probably. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Right. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. Living? Loving me now? Thanks for letting me know. Click, click, click. Does this have a PCI bus? Um, how do I do it? Check up. Oh, come on. Update. Please enter the update package code. Um, three. Dang it. How, how do I do it? Oh, that's the package code. I see. Oh, I'm so dumb. Jeez. Four, three, four, six, zero, eight, four. Package found. Please enter an active line. Uh, I don't know. 5487? 5487. Wow. Uh oh. Oh, man. Did my generator turn off? Power was out. Man. Um, okay, well, power was out, so let me take my, take my bear spray with me. Hey, his power's not out. Okay, 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 okay. It's very rainy out here. I need to refuel, don't I? Generator ran out of gas. Okay. Well, I have gas upstairs. Let me get that gas. Let me get that gas. Let me get that gas. Is anybody down there? Is anybody there? Is anybody behind the uh, thing there? No. 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 Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's fine. I really had to... Oh, I was getting cold and I had to pee. I didn't read what the first part there said. Oh, no. Why can't I go... I really had to pee before I go back up. Why? 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 There's gonna be somebody in the toilet. There's gonna be somebody in there. 
Oh, unless when I go pee and I come back out, there's going to be somebody waiting for me outside. Right? I really don't like this, you know? I just really, I just really don't like it, you know? Because there's bobcats and bears, okay? Okay, well... Door was open. Who cares? Who's going to see you out here? Who is going to see you out here? I just, I know for a fact that something, something's gonna happen. Oh, I can aim. I didn't know that. this freaking game one week later okay time was flying by connor's generator was under maintenance which meant i had to cover his area for the past two days when there were no fires going the only thing i'd do is check in on connor twice a day that might have been the only time i ever talked unless i was talking to myself i do that 2 34 a.m we got another one we got another one i know it's late but you're gonna want to Uh oh. Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Okay. What's going on now? We got another one. You copy? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Yeah. And now I'm seeing this. What is it? I'm Let me have a look. There's no music. Why is it so quiet? I don't like this. Why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? Fuck. Dang it, Connor. God. Of course. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Uh, well, okay. Meet me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. I crouched. I crouched. Is anybody out here? Where is, where is it? Where is the smoke? He said to his west. So it's probably down. Oh, it's close. Oh, that's close by. How do I take pictures? Do I have, do I have to get a camera? Is there a camera? Camera? Do I have, do I have a camera? take a camera photograph how do I take a photograph nope, not in there how do I take a photograph do I need this? sure uh, okay right mouse button to use Who the fuck are these jokers? I didn't know what to make of it. Are they burning bodies? Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Space to take photo. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh. <sighs> 
Okay, well, this is fucking freaky. Do I have the flash on? Please tell me I have the flash on. I do. <gasps> oh. Um. Um. Where are they? Where'd they go? Are they... Are they coming here? Oh, geez, that freaked the shit out of me already. Okay. Um... Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Hide, I guess? Yeah, that might be a good idea. I gotta make a run. Oh shit. 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 Do I go in the washroom?
gesagt. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Let's get in my camper van. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here, bud. As adrenaline kicked in. Fuck, hold on. Hold on, let me... Oh, let me take a little breath here. Okay. As adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. <sighs> well, that was intense. That was fears to fathom. Iron Bark Lookout. That was uh, that was intense, actually. That was um, much more uh, scarier than I thought it was gonna be. Those couple jump scares there. They, the, I mean, those really got me. Those really got me. I'm excited to um, I'm excited to play episode five whenever that comes out. I haven't I haven't looked into it yet, but I definitely will. There were times where um, I didn't know what to do though when I was hiding under the bed there. I knew the guy didn't go the right way, so I was kind of like, okay. Do I wait for him to go, or do I just make a run for it? And of course, you know, me being the scaredy cat that I am, I just sat there. If this was real life, I probably would have died, honestly. I probably would have just stayed under that bed until he just came into the room and found me. Then it would have just been over, you know? But yeah, that was great. I like that one. That was probably uh, probably my favorite one out of, uh, out of all four of them so far. A lot of creepy things that, you know, you kind of notice in the background. I like that kind of stuff, actually. Like, you know, like it, when you're paying attention to the storyline, but then something happens like behind you or something's happening in the background that you just, you wouldn't notice normally. But if you did, it's it's like really creepy. So I liked that about it. But yeah, that really got me. A couple of those, a couple of those situations really got me. I know I said I was going to try to um, keep these videos on the shorter side, but yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like these ones should be split up into parts since it's just like one story i think it would kind of like take the immersion out of it a little bit you know so i'll probably keep this one to the entire video but um going forward i really do want to try to split stuff into smaller maybe like half hour to 45 minutes at 45 minutes max we'll see what happens we'll see if i can find some shorter games or just longer games and just cut them into parts or whatever i don't know we'll see um i actually do kind of want to do like a um, I know a lot of people do these like compilation kind of things of a bunch of games in one video. So I'm thinking about doing something like that, like when in terms of like free to play horror games. So I might start doing that stuff as well, uh, just to kind of like fill in the fill in the gaps a little bit, you know. Uh, I'm still trying to find a storyline or a story driven single player horror game that will last quite a while. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on games like that let me know or games that you want to see i was thinking about doing the amnesia series like starting from the original the dark descent i have played that game before but i didn't i didn't play the entire thing so it would be it would be good to um do that again but yeah that's like that's like three three four three or four games i think um so that might uh, might be a thing i might i might do in the future uh, but if there is any, any other games similar to that like um actually i just recently bought we happy few which is a game that i've never played before then i always wanted to so that might be a game that i um i do a playthrough of um let me know let me know what you guys want to see if you want to see amnesia let me know if you want to see we happy few i'll do that too i'm probably gonna eventually do both either way but yeah 
Like I said, let me know what you want. Leave a comment, say hi, say what up, you know, bam, this was a good one. So I'm going to cut it here. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, take it easy and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.